For this video, what I want to do is show you how to use synthetic division with a cubic divisor. Typically, we use synthetic division just for linear divisors, um, but you can use synthetic division for degree two or degree three or more um, e polynomials. So for this one, what we want to do is we're going to divide x to the fourth plus 2x cubed minus 2x plus 1 by x cubed minus 2x plus 1. So what we need to do first is make sure that both the numerator and the denominator or um, the dividend and the divisor do not have any missing degrees. So if you look at this one, we have x to the fourth x cubed and then we're missing our x squared term. So I'm going to rewrite this as x to the fourth plus two x cubed plus 0x squared minus 2x plus 1. And we need to do the same thing for the denominator or the divisor. Okay, so the divisor would be x cubed plus 0x squared minus 2x plus 1. Okay, so it's very, very important that you do have the placeholders. Um, with the zeros in there for any terms that you are missing because otherwise it will throw off your answer. So these zeros are important. Okay, so when we set up our synthetic division box, we're going to set it up a little bit different than before. Normally we just set it up with one line and I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. But what we're going to do is we're going to add a dotted line in between. Okay, and we want to leave it to where it's a little bit bigger to where I can put two numbers in both of these spots. Okay, inside of the box at the top, we're going to go through and we're going to write the coefficients of our um, dividend. So we would start with the 1x to the 4th, the 2, the 0, negative 2, and 1. Okay, and then we are going to skip the x cubed term and we're going to start with the zero here. So I'm going to write the zero, the negative two, and the positive one. And remember, because when you're dividing and using long division, that you're really multiplying and then subtracting, so you're changing the signs, we are going to change the signs of all of these. So I'm going to start with the zero. I don't have to change the sign of zero because it's technically neither positive nor negative. Um, the negative two would become positive two and the positive one would become negative one. So we're gonna change the signs of these. All right, so here's where it gets a little bit tricky and you really have to pay attention to what you're doing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this first number all the way down, okay? Um, so our first number is going to be here and basically we're gonna have remainders. If you can look at it, um, since this is one degree less, our remainder is going to start with an x squared term. Okay, so because it's one degree less, I would just multiply it by one x. So I would get all the way down to my linear term and my constant term with just the first um, round of multiplication. All right, so the next step that we wanna do is we need to pull this two down into this dotted area. Okay, so we're going to pull the 2 here, and then everything else is just going to stay up at the top. All right, what we are going to do is we are going to take this value here, and we are going to multiply it by the value down here. So we're going to go through all of these and multiply it by here. So I'm going to do the 0 times 1, which is going to give me 0. I'm going to do the 2 times 1, which is going to give me two, and I write it above the line, okay? And then the negative one times one is going to go here, okay? So now if I add these two together, I would get two, okay? And so that's going to be the, f the answer part of mine. Everything else is just going to give me the remainder. Okay, so now what we are going to do is I also have to add all of these other ones together. So the zero plus two would give me two, the negative two plus negative one would give me negative three. Okay, so we're gonna now take and multiply this value that we just found um, by all of these values up here. So I would do zero times two, which would give me zero. 
2 times 2, which is going to give me 4. And then the last one, the negative 1 times 2, would give me negative 2. And then all of these answers, after I add them together, are just going to go down here. So I would have 2, 1, and for the last one, we would have negative 1. Okay, so our answer, because of the fact that if you think about x to the fourth divided by x cubed, we would start with a linear term because it's just one degree less. So I would have one x, which is just x, plus two is my constant term, and then everything else is going to be um, a remainder. So we would start with two x squared plus one x minus one, divided by our original value, the x cubed minus 2x plus 1. So this would be our final answer. If I take this and multiply it by the x to the fourth, or sorry, if I take this and I multiply it by the bottom part, we would get the top part. So with this, I don't know that it's any easier to use synthetic division than long division, but that is how you would do it. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If you have additional topics you need me to cover, please let me know that as well.